Hi, Delusion Dispeller, back to talk to you more about intermittent fasting. One thing I want to stress with you about intermittent fasting is eat when you're hungry. Start listening to your body. So many of us do not pay attention. We just eat because there's food in the house or there's something that's in a pretty fancy package. Listen to your body. Am I hungry? If you're hungry, eat. You don't overeat. Just eat till you feel like, okay, I've had enough. You know, and this comes with a lot of practice and a lot of time. I can go to a buffet and I generally will start with salads and fruit, that type of thing. Sometimes I'll even start with a dessert because I'm like, what is the one thing you're gorging yourself on food and hurrying up so you can have it? Your dessert. So have your dessert first. Eat that piece of pie or cake or whatever. Um, it kind of <laughs> alleviates the whole excitement of that yummy, luscious, chocolate, creamy pudding pie that you have your eye on. Or that chewy, melt-in-your-mouth brownie that you just have to have. If you're not forbidding yourself things, you're not going to crave them. So when you go to that buffet, have your dessert first. Then, you know, give yourself a little time to digest that. Maybe wait a few minutes till you feel like you can eat a little bit more food. And then have a salad. It'll help push that dessert through your system anyways. Um, have things that are water-soluble, fruits and vegetables and stuff. And then have some meat if you're a meat eater or tofu if you're not a meat eater. Whatever it is that you eat as your protein, some beans. Um, then have, like your starchy foods if you want and then you know by that time you're probably like okay I've had enough I'm ready to go home and you feel like you wasted your money on a buffet because you're really not doing the all-you-can-eat thing as all-you-can-eat you're just eating sensibly because you're used to eating sensibly and it just makes sense to eat sensibly because then you don't feel icky when you're done eating and you feel like you had some meaningful conversation time with your loved one and you didn't gorge yourself so you don't have to go home and take Tums and Rolaids and all those other digestive things that we take when we have reflux and give ourselves heartburn. <laughs> so it's just a matter of, you know, eat sensibly. Um, whatever that means to you. Okay, so after I'm done eating, I give myself time and I wait till I'm hungry and then I eat again. Now I keep this in the eight hours window and I'll just eat I'll listen to my body. If I'm really hungry, I'll probably eat something big, um, but not like calorie laden, just something that's filling. Like I said, a baked potato, even a thing of mashed potatoes, whatever. Um, it really doesn't hurt you as long as you have a reasonable amount of calorie intake and you're taking in enough protein and vegetables and getting the minerals and vitamins that you need. Uh, then when dinner comes along, I try to keep it very heavily veggie laden. Lots of veggies. I try to have at least two vegetables with every dinner. And I'm not talking about starchy vegetables like corn and potatoes. I'm talking about dinner time will be the time for my beets, my green beans, maybe even peas once in a while, broccoli. Um, sometimes I buy that California blend with the broccoli, cauliflower, carrot mix. Because that goes good in casseroles and it goes good with meat. You can steam it, you can boil it, whatever. I usually try to steam stuff because boiling kind of removes the vitamins and minerals out of things. So, you do that. And then by that time, your eight hours is up. And guess what you do then? You give your body time to digest, assimilate, and absorb all those things that you put into it for eight hours. Now... In between these eight hours, you're working a job, you're hanging out with family, you're taking walks, whatever it is you do during your day. So, it's not like you're just, I guess people picture sitting there gorging yourself, stuffing yourself with tons and tons of food. And you're not doing that. Sorry, I'm having like major hair issues here today. It doesn't want to lay the way I want it. you got to love this naturally curly hair thing. Anyway, um, so you're just doing what you normally do. And then you're eating, and then you're fasting, and you're waiting. During your fast, I try to keep mine at nighttime. The best time to fast, in my opinion, is when you don't notice you're fasting. Because those of us that love food, like I told you in my first video, I do, think about food a lot more than those that just kind of eat to live. <laughs> we live to eat. So fast at night while you're sleeping. 
if you sleep a good eight to ten hours like you should be then that's part of your fasting time that's already taken up so if I'm doing this fast as I told you from noon to eight think about it this way from noon to eight this window eight hours I'm eating whatever I'm eating at eight o'clock I stop eating 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. At 10 o'clock the next morning, I technically can break my fast and begin eating. If I don't want to eat at 10 because I'm just not hungry, I will push it up till 11 or noon and start eating then. Um, it doesn't have to be exact. I told you that in an earlier video. It's about 14 to 16 hours fasting and then the rest of the time, those 8 hours or whatever it is, eating. It's really simple. Now, stay tuned. I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about the tail end of how this all works and what it did for me.